What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here, and it looks like today is just going to be one of those days because along with the Fuse Zamasu trailer, we also received news that they are planning to do a huge balance patch focusing on these characters. So we have a lot of characters on this list, but before we start talking about them, I do want to address that this isn't going to just be a balance patch that hits characters, as they also said they are going to be looking at some of the system mechanics in the game, and that excites me a lot. It also kind of makes me nervous because I really do love how the game plays now, but I would love to see what their fresh take is on things like the Super Dash mechanic, Dragon Rush, Sparking Blast, all of that stuff count as system mechanics, so they fall in the range of what they could be tackling. Obviously, this is going to be a huge patch that really shakes things up, so if you were tired with the way that Dragon Ball Fighters was playing, uh, when this patch comes out, which is probably going to be when Fuse Zamasu drops, uh, nothing confirmed yet, but that's just a hunch, then you might want to come back and try it out for a little longer, because this is going to have a huge impact on the game. I mean, if you think about it, this could be changing something as small as, you know, the Dragon Rush and how it works, or it could be changing something huge like Super Dash or sparking blast and the way it works and what moves you can cancel and what moves you can't this is a potentially game-changing patch but you know let's stop talking about the system mechanics and what could be changed and what couldn't be because right now it's all speculation we just know they are going to be tackling it let's take a look at some of these characters they're going to be addressing and then i'll talk about how i feel about each character and what should probably be changed and what shouldn't be and then down in the comments below feel free to let me know your thoughts on the characters listed here let's start by looking at the left with vegeta android 16 android 17 and 18 adult gohan and kid buu now this is the side that i would say i'm the most interested in except for one character which i'll get to later but you guys already know who it is Super Saiyan Vegeta's assist is a little too good for me. I think it should be the best assist in the game and they should keep it like that because, you know, there is going to be an eventual good assist in the game and it might as well be Vegeta. He's such a fan favorite character, it would be a shame to see him completely stripped of his limelight. Then we have Android 16 who has all of the qualities of a really big character and yet he has the same speed as the rest of the cast which leads to insanely strong mix-ups and great hard knockdown setups. Android 16 could use some touching up, but he is not the biggest problem on this list by far. Then we have Android 18. Not too excited about what they're going to change here because I thought Android 18 was in a good place. Really good pressure. Uh, awesome assist. Could probably use a bit of a touch on the air combo department, but I thought she was all around pretty decent. Adult Gohan is probably the only character in Dragon Ball Fighters that I would say is a little too good for what he is. The access to his moveset is too easy for him to get. I think they should definitely lock some of his hard knockdowns behind maybe two or even three bars of uh, hidden potential. Uh, but right now he is a little too mobile. The system that's unique to him where he holds down key and falls fast makes it really easy to set up really strong mix-ups. Kid Buu, I'm completely biased. Kid Buu destroys me. I have not practiced defense against Kid Buu. Uh, no idea what they're going to change. I know a lot of uh, beginner players really hate his Y auto combo. I don't think they're going to address that, but um, you know, he's a tricky character, so I'm, I'm excited to see any potential changes with him. I guess I'll be holding out on uh, my defensive practice against Kid Buu for now. Now let's move on to the middle of this list with Frieza, Krillin, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Nappa, Beerus, and Android 21. Let's start with Frieza and Beerus. Both of these characters are supposed to be zoners. Not really supposed to be, but they have the tool set to be, but because of the systems in play, they can't really shine as much as they should be able to. So in my opinion, the character buffs aren't as significant to Beerus and Frieza. It's more the system mechanics around them. We're going to see how it happens. Maybe you can dash through one of Beerus's balls, but if you dash through two, that's too much and your character gets hit. Something like that would be uh, make him really strong, uh, maybe even too strong. So it's going to be interesting how they tackle Beerus and Frieza. After that, let's do Android 21. Really strong neutral in the game. Uh, they're probably just going to be tackling how um, her infinite works. She has an infinite. Don't know if you guys know that. Won't talk too much about it. Uh, they might be tackling that, how she scales, what she can potentially do in the neutral, what she can get combos off of. But I think she's a pretty healthy character right now, and I wouldn't want to see her too nerfed or even buffed at all. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Nappa are really cool characters. Uh, hopefully they get something, uh, you know, a little more pizzazz added to them. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is a little one note right now. He has one very good combo route, and after that he just has a couple of mix-ups, and that's pretty much it for him. He's going to be really exciting to see. He's a really flashy character, as with uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Super Saiyan Blue Goku is a lot better, though, in my opinion. Nappa, of course, if he gets more setups into Cybermen, that's all he really needs to jump up on the tier list there. As long as he can get... As long as Nappa can put himself in a favorable position to plant that Cyberman, then he is going to be a perfectly fine character as he is. Now let's talk about Krillin. 
my favorite character in both the Dragon Ball franchise and in Fighters. I just hope they make him stronger. I mean, I think he's okay. Let's be real. He's probably lower on the tier list, but I really do think he's, um, I'm of the personal belief that Dragon Ball Fighters is a pretty decently balanced game. So as long as you surround Krillin with assists that help him out, uh, he can be a very strong character. Hopefully they can make him more of a standout character on his own though, as he does require assists to really, uh, you know, get some damage in there. Piccolo has very strong mix-ups, but he can't do much on his own, much like Krillin. So hopefully they do the similar treatment for him. Uh, Captain Ginyu is a really interesting one. I have no idea what they're going to change with him. So I, I guess in that aspect, that is another exciting change. And then we got Broly, the newest character in this bunch. Uh, I don't know. I always thought Broly was pretty fine. Uh, they might be opening up more combo pass for him as he is a little one note much like Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But I kind of thought that suited Broly as a character. And then of course that's the end, it says etc there. Uh, but yeah, this is an absolutely wild announcement. Didn't expect this at all. So like I said before in the video, make sure to go down in the comments below and leave me your thoughts on these characters and what you would change about them personally to make them more balanced or just a better character overall. While you're down there, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this from this channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dr. Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.